probably just before COVID. Um, yeah, I wasn't really enjoying it. I mean, there's a few factors why, but um, yeah, I just decided to take a break, um, change, change it up, play a different sport, some work, and then, yeah, I decided on my own that it was time to come back, and it was perfect timing, really, with COVID. Yeah, it did me a world of good, that break, that's for sure. Still feeling pretty, pretty rusty at the start, um, just match-wise. Just like decision making was wasn't <laughs> the best, but as it went on, each tournament it was getting better, and um, mentally I was feeling good out there and physically, so that was the best parts of it. But yeah, just as I played more matches, it was getting better. No expectations really. Like I just wanted to come back, um, just find my way again, start enjoying it, and just really seeing. Um, like how I was going against these girls again. I was really just enjoying it out there and then the results seemed to just happen. Yeah, it was pretty pretty crazy to win my, like, it was like my first tournament back or second tournament back. Now I kind of sparked that passion back as well. It was a bit of a rough start, like big changes really. And even the simple things of just moving out of home for the first time, being on the other side of the world. But I've got a good team around me, so always felt the support and um, even here the people were so nice and like in Scotland that's where I am everyone's been so welcoming so helpful so I've settled in very quickly which is yeah been good no I'm really enjoying it so far I want to get my ranking up and increase the ranking but um, just taking this time to um, just learn as much as I can I was very grateful that <coughs> New Zealand was able to put on all those events at the start of the year um, to get that ranking up and yeah it's nice to like be closer to these girls ranking wise just like on paper um, I mean ranking's just the number like now it's time to <laughs> actually start beating these girls overseas um, and yeah start making it even higher so yeah it's, it's very exciting to have those players to follow and to watch, especially, I mean, I've always followed Joelle and um, watched her success, and it's nice to be on this side of the world as well with them, so hopefully I can catch up with them soon, and um, yeah, the same Paul um, do so well, is crazy, it's so good for all of us players in New Zealand just to see that it's, that it is possible, like we are, we may be so far away from everyone, but it's yeah it's possible yeah in 12 months time probably I'd say like top 60 top 50 would be yeah a good goal to reach for me so I'm not not too far away from top 100 so that's the next one and then yeah hopefully just again top 50 top 20 eventually all the way to the top hopefully <laughs>